Light primer strike. How much you want to bet? Yep. Light primer strike. Okay, I think two more brass hit me on the top of the hat. It's another light primer strike. It's out of battery. So having some concerning malfunctions, but again, the car pistols have a 200 round break-in period. Yeah, and I was told by uh, Key Sporting Goods that uh, a lot of their cars need that break-in period. And then supposedly afterwards, they run really well, so. It's dead on accurate for 12, 13 yards. It'd be a good backup gun for sure. Yeah, well, it definitely packs a punch with 45 ACP. Yeah. So I'd like to see if we can shoot it through this uh, break-in period and get it to where it's running reliably. Yeah. Um, the light primer strikes, we'll play with They're them. not exactly light though. You saw that, dude. There's some pretty good primer hits. So I don't know what's going on there. We're just gonna have to continue testing this. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to bring you a review of the car CM45 in tungsten. So it's Cerakoted in tungsten gray. The slide, the trigger, and the slide stop. Very attractive to look at. We put over 300 rounds through this pistol during this review of not only Sig Sauer Elite Performance, but we also shot what, young brother? Some arms core ammunition and also free munitions ammunition. And the reason why is because this gun didn't run very well at all. In this example, it is an example of two. We actually had one before it had issues also. We sent it back to car. Car replaced the entire slide and everything that's inclusive in the slide and sent us a new one with the gun uh, to be tested again. So it's the same serial number, same frame, but an entirely new slide. We were kind of disappointed in how it ran. We will show you some of that in the video here. It had multiple failures to go into battery, multiple light primer strikes with the first slide. Um, spent casings kept on coming back and hitting us in the head. And, you know, I realized that maybe that may self-correct and it may adjust and, and the casings may be sent off to the right and not do that anymore. But it is kind of, it takes your attention off what you're doing when the casings from 45 uh, ACP keep on coming back and hitting you. It did have a couple failures to feed. So we sent the car back at first and they replaced the whole slide and issues did continue with over 300 rounds put through it. So right now we're sitting at about 500 rounds. So we fired another 200 rounds through it and it continued to have problems throughout those 200 rounds after we got it back. And what stories have you heard, Brett here? Well, I have heard that car pistols can be finicky and I don't know if that's mostly referred to the CM45 or other lines of the pistols. Some people say they need a 600 round break-in period. I'm not sure. I know that's unacceptable to many owners of firearms out there. I'm kind of in that boat also. You know, some 1911s need a couple hundred round break-in period. We've had 1911s that needed zero break-in period. They just started shooting 100% right out of the box. Our Dan Wesson's, uh, the Les Bear. Your Smith & Wesson E-Series. My Smith & Wesson E-Series, the engraved pistol. So if you're looking for something like that in 45, um, those have been excellent. The reviews are on the channel for those. That was pretty quick out of that double action only trigger. Well, I like shooting revolvers fast, you know that. <laughs> it's got a good trigger in it, very smooth. Smooth is good. <laughs> and the trigger reminds me so much of a very smooth, good double action trigger on a revolver. 
and a light primer strike. Again. And we're empty. Six round car mag, offhand. And another light primer strike. And that was the last round. So we just checked these uh, light primered rounds and not all this is that we're shooting right now through this is freedom because we're wanting to test out different ammo through it. So actually we were testing some SIG ammo and also some Remington UMC uh, green and white box stuff. Or as Justin Opinion calls it, upper middle class ammunition, right? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's having these problems and look at this light primer strike. I wouldn't call that a light strike. That's a pretty good hit and it's having problems. So. That is what it is. Um, let's see if all three go off. On the second hit, all three went off. Wow. Okay. Out of battery. Out of battery. No light primer strikes. That's good. I was never having this problem beforehand shooting this gun. holding it very firmly and I don't know why it's having those problems. Offhand. No light primer strikes. The outer battery thing kind of concerns me a little bit. Yeah. Is there any oil on it? No. We'll throw it's a little oil on it. Okay, we got a little oil on it now. Let's see how it runs. So far, so good. One of those brass came back and caught me right in the side of the head. Yeah. Definitely got some recoil to it. Yeah. It's a very small 45. So guys, what we're shooting in the car CM45 is six hour 45 ACP, 230 grand. I hit twice in the head with the brass. I don't understand why it's doing that. Last one.
glad I got safety glasses on. Yeah. That was two more brass to the top of the head. Yep. That brass to the head is starting to affect me. Yeah. That was two or three more right there. Your grip is changing quite a bit when you're shooting this. It's, it's so snappy. Yeah, it's moving around a little bit. But it's dead on. And that's all. Yeah. This one last round there. I'm gonna try shooting a little bit offhand, see if I can uh, at least pull that off. Interesting. So, what do you think? I think it still needs some more break-in time, has some yeah. more rounds through it. It's not fully going in a battery. That time it happened to me, so it hadn't happened to me beforehand. Yeah. Um, the other thing is the breast coming out and hitting me in the front of the head there. Um, I'm hoping that goes away also. Most of the ammo we shot during the test was the Elite Performance six hour ammunition. So we do want to say thank you for that. That's what we were shooting, 230 grains, traveling at 850 feet per second. Haven't had any problems at all really with this six hour Elite Performance ammunition, but because of the issues the CM45 from Car was having, we did want to test it with a couple other types of ammunition. The problems did persist. 
So if it, not get worse, I mean, remember, dude, with the arm score, it just kept on uh, light primer striking. It was pretty unbelievable. As you guys know, we do not like to post negative reviews. I mean, we try to find, um, you know, positive things to say about pistols, even if they are having issues. There are some things I like about this gun, too. I do like the appearance of the pistol itself. I do like the tungsten gray Cerakote uh, paint job that's on it. It's fairly comfortable in the hand, and the trigger is uh, double action only, and it's very consistent. So I like that. You also like how lightweight it is, right? Yeah, it comes in at what? 17.3 ounces. It has a 3.24 inch barrel on it. It's, you know, it's going to be easy to CCW or EDC. It it's, is a little snappy though. That's the trade-off. The trade-off with the 45 ACP is it is snappy. If you have the nine millimeters out there, they are very popular also. Obviously you're dealing with a lot less recoil in that package than you are with a 45 ACP pistol here. So in closing guys, it's a neat little handgun, but it has to perform or I just can't recommend it. Unfortunately, um, if you do have a car CM9 or if you even have a car CM45 and you don't have any issues at all, we tried two different examples and they just didn't run for us. So I guess, you know, that's the end of the review at this point in time, unless I want to waste another two, three, four hundred rounds of ammo to see if it corrects itself. And I'm not sure I do. I think I'd rather shoot that through a 1911 product. Thanks goes out to all of our Patreon supporters. We appreciate the support. It helps keep our channel stay up and running to do the reviews and uh, we'll see you on the next video. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel here on YouTube, Brett and I, Millimeter USA, for more guns and gear videos coming up in the future.